Istanbul Airport. We're about to make a connection flight transfer. Flight transfer here at Istanbul Airport. We are coming from South Africa, from a non Schengen country. And we are. It's 10 to 5 in the morning, and we will be flying to Copenhagen now, which is a Schengen country. So, this is the way a transfer could look like for you. This is what it's going to look for us. We're going to film this in real time now. So sit back and watch real-time transfer. I'll stop for security on the way. Otherwise, it will be real-time everything to see. So we're gonna try and walk as quickly as possible, just to give you an idea of distance, etc. So first things first, we are going to follow the signs. Straight ahead. Passport control, baggage reclaim, international transfers, as you can see up there. So straight away we met with an escalator. It's quite cold here in Istanbul. And up we go. Now we can walk a bit, I reckon, stretch the legs, give them some movement. This is a very big airport. The last time we filled, filmed this transfer, it was one of the longest transfers we've ever made in an airport. Be interesting to see how it's going to be today. Are we just following the signs? It's the Turkish flag, Turkia, I believe it's called nowadays, if I'm not mistaken. And straight ahead we go. Exit to the left, passport to the left, international transfer to the left. Welcome to Istanbul International Airport. I think it's going to be a long one. Shall we walk, Maro? Escalator. That's the departures area down there. Once you've cleared security, etc. I think we're going to be very, walking very, very far down to the bottom here, as we did last time. So we're just following, in this case, this airport. We're following the blue signs, arrivals, transfers. And this actually looks exactly like last time, Maro. So I think it is going to be a quick walk if we're going to get there on time to the gate. We've got lots of time, but as mentioned, it was very long last time, the walk. So we just want to pass through security as quickly as possible. And then we can relax once we know we've gone through security. See if this young lady will let us pass. Thank you very much. Thank you. As we go on. And on we go. Keep going. Following the signs. And straight down we go. As you can see, if you have walking disabilities, you will want to get some assistance, airport assistance. I think in most cases, people with walking disabilities will want to get airport assistance at this airport. Looks like we're coming to the end, a right turn up ahead. How are you doing there, Maro? It's good for the stretching of the legs after a long flight. That's for sure. Arrivals, transfers to the right. Now I'm following the signs. It's early. What time was it, Maro? Now? What time was it now? Seven-ish, local time. Is it five o'clock? On we go. I was transfer and we put a speed on Maro. Nice to see the footsteps on the escalator informing people which side to stand on. Ah? Is that from the COVID? Ah, it's a distance. Okay. 
So it's not so nice. It's not from good times. Nice view out the window there. We're still walking on. This is apparently one of the world's biggest airports. Mother of, just look here to my right, disability service. For those of you who have disabilities, that's the way to go. Arrivals transfers, five to seven minute walk it says from here. So on we go. Not that busy the airport here at this time of the morning. Istanbul Airport, again we're looking outside onto the apron as we're walking. A lot of lavatory bathroom facilities for those of you needing to freshen up a little bit. And we just gotta carry on. Now it's four to six minutes to the transfers area. As you can see from that sign above. Doing well, Maro. As mentioned before, we are flying to Copenhagen, a Schengen member country. So I'm wondering if we're going to have to pass immigration. I don't believe so. Right turn, arrivals, transfers down the stairs. If there's any security, I'll turn off the camera as I normally do and I'll turn it back on again once we are, once we passed it. <laughs> down we go. <laughs> Maro, check the gate up there. International transfers are to the left. I just wanted to check the gate. What time was our flight? Five five or what? Ah, five fifty five. Gate info. Okay, so we heading down to international transfers. Look at the height of these windows. In this airport. It is a huge airport. It's a nice airport. But perhaps a little bit too big for many people making connection flights. The distances are very far. And on we go. Now we're following the red sign above. International transfers. And that's a four to five minute walk again from where we are now. More passenger assistance services. International transfer still straight ahead. We're walking. Domestic transfers would take a left turn here now if you were carrying on in Turkey, Turkia. We're following this sign up there. Maro's got her speed on. That's good. Giving a nice pace for this video. These are videos we know that many of you enjoy or appreciate watching when you have to make this kind of, or before you have to make this kind of transfer yourself. We've always been people who watch these kind of videos also because we like to see or sort of get a feel of an airport, what we can expect when we're in a hurry, particularly if we're suddenly delayed. We know how quickly we must get to, to the gate, whether we can spend time at duty free, etc. International straight on. And it's two to three minutes from this point. Here we're just passing passport control, immigration. Those of you arriving, you would go through that way. And we're just carrying on straight ahead. More stuff. Up ahead it says one to two minutes now. International transfer area. I'm having difficulty keeping up with Ma Maro today. <laughs> a little bit exhausted, but a heavy backpack again, as usual. And there we have international transfer security coming up. So I will turn the camera off in a moment. It doesn't seem too busy, so that's a good thing. On we go. Okay, it's not busy because it's not open, perhaps. 
making our way on. I think we have to, we have to go to the bottom. Down to the bottom. Down to the bottom. That's what she signaled, Maro. Yeah. Down we go. They're all international transfers. There we go. So, Maro, can you wait a second? All right, let's go. We just passed through security. And now we have to find out where our gate is. I don't even think it's on the board yet. Maro said it comes on at about 5.55. We're going to make our way straight down there in that direction. Up to the main departures hall. So we're just continuing down the stairs and up. And I expect we're going up to the departures hall we can hang around there for a little bit until we can see what our gate number is it's a good idea to keep an eye on the information board continuously because some of these walks from that area can be very long we've tried that last time we were here also on the way down to Cape Town where we just came from now so Amado is leading the way I'm following obediently as usual and up we go and I'm correct this is the departures hall you can see the stars and the decorations up it is Ramadan here at the moment in Turkey as in other Muslim countries very busy area we have filmed a video from this departures hall before I'll leave a link to that down below in the description a full uh, tour of this part of the airport so you can see what kind of restaurants shops up there's the lounge where we sat on the way to Cape Town on our flight down a week ago and uh, Mara was quite exhausted after that walk Mara was watching movies the whole way from Cape Town instead of catching a few winks. We left five o'clock, so it wasn't exactly bed time yet. But anyway, what time is our flight to Copenhagen? 7.25. 7.25, okay. So we just got to hang around here now. Yeah. Once the gate comes up, then we'll continue the walk. Yeah. As said, down below in the description, there's a link to a tour in this, this part of the airport. And if you want to watch one of our other transfers, transfer Istanbul Airport, I'll also leave a link to that down below. So I'll see you just now, around 5.55, 5 to 6 in the morning, when gate information is available. We're back again. I thought I'd just give a little tip for the departure hall while you're waiting for your gate. Try to position yourself in the middle part of the departure hall. And that way you don't have to walk so far if you're right down in the wrong end when the gate number is announced. Yeah. So if you're in the middle, you know you've got sort of roughly halfway to each way, if you understand what I mean. So definitely position yourself in the center of the departures hall if you don't know where your flight will be leaving from. Very, very wise, very wise. It's very wise and one thing to note here in the departure hall also, there are very few sitting areas. And the sitting areas that there are, at least at this time in the morning, is full of people sleeping, filling up the entire sitting area. This airport hasn't done a good job with seating for passengers. I suppose they want to try and pull everybody into the restaurants. Mm. At poor, poor performance with the, the seating. It's not a very good job. Otherwise, it's a nice airport. Our gate number just got uh, announced. Gate A1B, so we are in the right area. Gates A to be or downstairs, so we're just following the signs all the way down. Maro is leading, I'm following, down we go. A lot of people all leave at once because all the gates are announced at sort of the same time, 5.55, and they were very prompt, I must say. It's an eating, eating area. And A is to the left. 
already forgot the gate number. Mara, the gate A1. number? A1. A1. A1B. A1B. So our priority now is to walk quickly to the gate A1B. It's probably there already, the first one. Ah, yeah, they, there's A2 already. Yeah. Uh -huh, that's nice. A1 is right here. Yeah. Ah, perfect. So, there's, is it downstairs? Yeah. Downstairs, hopefully they have, yeah, they do have restrooms down there also, they're right. Yeah, A1B. A1B. That's A1 there. And down to gate A1B we go. So there you can see it. That is our walk. Transfer walk here at Istanbul Airport. Hope it's helped you. If it did, please help us by leaving a like down below, pressing the like button. It is uh, something that helps our videos get seen by more people, encourages us to make more videos for you. This kind of video that can be helpful to other fellow travelers. Don't forget to also follow our. Instagram A to F so straight out straight Mara don't forget to follow us on Instagram subscribe to our YouTube channel also if you haven't already done so that would be really nice to have you on board and see us every now and again and uh, no there are plenty of chairs in this area that's nice to see Anyway, I'm gonna say goodbye in a second now. We're just gonna find, take you to the gate. Very quiet down here. There are restrooms as mentioned, which is quite important. A1C, we, we were A1B, huh? Yeah. So that looks like we're gonna be driven to the aircraft. Yeah. That's a so-called apron boarding. As you can see, we are on ground level, down on the apron. So it will be a bus boarding we're having and there is our gate gate a1b so thanks for watching our video bye bye from me maxi see you on the next video